Pleasant good afternoon to everyone. We are begin, we're about to begin our time of worship. We ask you to join us in standing, please. Lord, I lift your name on high. Oh! 
lift you up this evening. Hallelujah. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. It's not by might, it's not by, might, it's not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. God's not dead. He is alive. And those of us who know him as Lord and Savior 
not know about him, but know him as Lord and Savior, we can sing with confidence. And we know that because he has promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us. We have the assurance that our God, our Creator, He's always with us. Even in these moments when the loved ones grieve, when the loved ones have to say goodbye. And today we are here to say farewell to a father, I suppose, to our uncle, grandfather, a friend, probably a fellow co-worker. And as we say farewell, we are still left behind. And life goes on. Our intention here this afternoon is not really for him because he has gone and there's nothing that we can do to bring him back. Our intention here this afternoon is for you who are still here alive. An opportunity is presenting itself where you will hear the gospel, where you can hear about this Jesus that we sang about. You will hear about that Jesus, the Jesus who we live and worship and adore. On behalf of the Evangelical Church of the West Indies, Evangelical churches in both Port Elizabeth, Beckway, and Paget Farm, and all our churches, we extend deepest condolences to you, the loved ones, the family of our friend, Winston Bratcher. At this time, I wish to make some brief announcements due to the fact that we are we have we are hosting a visiting ministry team who is downstairs we are unable to open up our bathroom facilities downstairs so we are limited with our bathroom facilities on my right go to that door back there and go around so that there's there's two toilets available that's if you want to go um if you want to use the washroom uh, because of the folks coming up from Beckway, the boat will be leaving at 5 sharp. All right? So we're going to try to follow the program as best as possible so that by 4, four o'clock, the vans would start transporting you folks from Beckway back down to the wharf. We don't want to, you to miss your boat, although some of you may not mind. But we don't want to be the ones to be responsible for that. At this time, I'm going to ask you to, if you have your cell phones and they are um, still on, or they may be on, but they are, they are not on silent, you can choose to kindly turn them off or put them on silent so they do, do not disturb as we proceed. At this time, I invite son Ronald as he comes and do the opening prayer for us. Ronald. Let us reverently bow our heads as we seek the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this grand opportunity whereby we can be here this afternoon to pay respect to dad, to pay respect to Winston Bratcher, a husband, a father, a grandfather, an uncle, a businessman, one who have lived the life that many can follow. Lord, we want to thank you for the life that he has lived. A life that the people who, whom he come in contact with can see 
the man who would genuinely love people. And Father, for hence the reason we are here, not in the best of circumstances, but because of death. Because the Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life to Jesus Christ our Lord. And Father, we have the assurance even death might be part of us. One of these days, you're going to put an end to that. Father, I want to pray for all those who are here celebrating with us. I want to pray, Lord, that as we embark on this program, that everything will be done in decency and in order. And I pray, Father, that when all is said and done, and when the trump of the Lord shall sound, and we will go over yonder, to meet you, to live with you forever. There will be no more suffering. There, may, there will not be any more pain, no more crying. All of these things will be over. And so we are looking forward for that day when you will burst the cloud of heaven. And I pray as we continue this service today that you will be with the minister who will minister the word even uh, past the days that he will touch him, so that he will bring words of comfort to us. Not his words, but the words come directly from your throne of grace. And Father, may you continue, continue to be with us and bless us now, is my prayer in Jesus' precious name. Amen, amen. and amen. <laughs> Please join us in standing. As we sing from our pamphlet, I have lived a life of sin in world of I'm living in. I have done forbidden things I shouldn't do. As we sing together. I have lived a life of sin in this world I'm living in. I have done so many things I shouldn't do. Oh, oh, oh. 
never be unhappy. Please be seated. How do you get to cross that bridge? How do you get? Some of us, we have another song that we sing on the other side of the river. At this time, as we have open tributes, I'm going to have to put a limitation on those tributes due to time. And I'm going to ask two persons, and I'm going to limit you to three minutes each. I'm sorry I have to do it, but due to the circumstances. After which we'll have a tribute by the New Haven Funeral Home. Three persons, two persons, quickly. to sing okay it's okay good afternoon everybody one day at a time sweet Jesus that's all I'm asking from you Lord, help Russia family to be have the strength one day at a time. Do you remember when you walk among those men? Well, Jesus, you know, he looking below, he would know one day. Cheating and stealing. Violence and crime Lord for my sake Teach me today One day at a time One day at a time Brought your mission That's all I'm asking from you Lord help me today Show me to be one day at a time. One day at a time. Sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking from you. Lord, help me to take. and especially for those who would have liked to be here this afternoon unfortunately three quarters of Beckway are here yeah. our deepest condolences to the family Mr. Bratcher was one of the most humble and caring human being his gentle smile was more than words can tell of the love and of his generosity, which was spread throughout the length and breadth of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We would miss him dearly. To the immediate family, look back and thank God. Look forward and trust God. 
God came to earth as a human being, paid for our sin, and wants us to live with him in heaven. This is good news, good news. God is offering all of us freedom, hope, and eternal life. Let us live as human beings with that hope that one day our dear brother, grandfather, friend, one of these beautiful days when we are to be called up to meet the Lord in the air. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. May his soul rest in peace, rise in glory. Amen. Thank you. We now take our final open tribute from the New Haven Funeral Home. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry due to the time constraint. And I'm um, going to ask Phyllis, Phyllis Knight, to so be prepared to do our script for scripture reading. We have come to bid farewell to somebody who has seemingly done so well. But you know the, the thing about it? If we didn't tell him how good he was, if, it, if we didn't tell him how much he means to us, it's late now. It's late now, okay? But the, the, the bottom line seemed to have been that he knew God. And that is the underlying premise. Ladies and gentlemen, it's good to be here too. So whatever we do now is for the family. These young people are going to sing a song. It's, we hope that on, on behalf of New Haven Funeral Home, and we hope that it will bring solace. It will bring some strength to the family, even as they mourn. It's, it's okay to mourn. It's okay to mourn. It's okay to feel sad. But we know that God is with us. Underneath are his everlasting arms. And he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Family, go with that. Because in that, that is in whom we trust in God. And he will never leave us. We pray that this song that they are going to do will lift your spirit and help you during this time of mourning. Thank you. Good afternoon, church. As uh, my manager stated, we are going to do a tribute on behalf of the New Haven Funeral Home. I pray God that this song bless your heart. My condolences to the Bratra family. God give life, He takes it away, and He is the Potter, and I am. But when I view the last sunset and cross o'er the sea, I know a sunrise will be waiting for me.
sorry but because of our time limitation we cannot take any more tributes we love to but understand that because of our time and this time I invite Phyllis Knight as she will do for us the first reading and the first reading will be taken from St. John chapters 14 our first first, first four verses Let not your heart be troubled. My bad. John 14, chapter 1 to 4. Her beginner. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye be also. And whither I go, ye know and the way ye know. Here ends a portion of God's holy word. It's time to be to God. I invite you to join me in standing. After our song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus, we'll hear from Yolanda Derrick. So I'm going to invite Yolanda Derrick soon after we have finished the song to come forward. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and our griefs to bear. Not some, but all our sins and all our griefs. What a friend we have in Jesus.
Wanda Derek. Good afternoon, everyone. I was there when Bratcha and Joyce first came to Berkeley. When he retired from TTC and he came to take over management of Nice Supermarket. And You know, just by foresight, you could tell that he was such a welcome and loving person. And uh, as the years progressed, Okay, as the years progressed, um, he gave me a chance, my first shot at managing when he had to step out a while. And when the short rain, a couple of weeks was over, I thanked him for the opportunity. And his words to me were, Yolanda, you did a really great job, but it's only the beginning. And indeed, it was the only the beginning. Because as the years progressed, I went up. I excelled, instead, you know. And uh, as he helped me, I know a lot of others in here can say the same thing, that he helped in one way or the other. Some way, and he was always willing to help, no matter what. And I, I never seen him with like being angry then for nothing, nothing bothered him. And he could have talked to him about anything in confidence and you know there's where it would stay in confidence. And uh, I have more to say but anyway, I will, end, I will just end with a verse and chorus of this song. When I'm down and oh my soul so weary When troubles come and my heart burdened be Then I am still and wait here in the silence Until he come and stay a while with me you raise me up so I can stand on mountain. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raise me up to move. I will miss you. Joyce, love you. Condolences, everyone. We now invite the Knights Trading Supermarket staff as they will come and uh, do a song for us. Thank you. 
not as ending and only you could know the pain you want a friend to face the devil you want no stranger to the rains come as high on the mountains on the world for love to start go to heaven a shout love for the father and the son oh how we cry oh how we cry the day you left us get around your grave to grieve wish I could see angel faces when they hear your sweet voice
that old time religion Give me that old time religion It's good enough for me Give me that old time religion Give me that old time religion Give me that old time religion It's good enough for me I was standing at my window On a cold and cloudy day When I saw that hustle coming For to take my daddy away Oh Undertaker, please Undertaker Undertaker, please drive slow Cause that body you are taking Wonderful. You know, we have, we have a lot of talent in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Thank you, Beckwith folks, for those beautiful renditions. On our program, if you looked, you would see that we had a special song. I want to believe that that song was just done. That special was just done. Amen? And without any hesitation, we now invite the children as they would come and do tributes. Cassandra Marks, Carl Marks, they're now watching this live on YouTube. Um, my grandchildren, which is Pop's great-grandchildren, Christian, Ariana, and Ayana, I want to say thank you for being here from the bottom of my heart. The people from Beckway, I absolutely adore you to be able to make this trip and come here to celebrate our dad's, I would say, legacy. All right, because he has done so much, you know, and always encouraging people that I don't know what else to call it. All right, um, I'm going to read a little thing here from my, my daughter and my son. They actually sent me a little note. Hopefully I can pull it up right instantly. This is what my daughter wrote. What is there to say about the man? Actually, this, is, this one is my son. I'm not going to read that one yet. <laughs> my daughter, she said, I'll be honest and admit that starting this off is very difficult. Not because I don't know what to say, but because I don't know where to begin. To, to know you was to love you. I remember the first time we met. I wasn't sure what to call you, so I called you Grandpa. Your response will forever be engraved in my mind. You said, don't call me no damn grandpa. <laughs> 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 
It was then that I knew that I would love you forever. Your sense of humor is what I will cherish the most. I strongly believe that trait was passed down to me because I certainly didn't inherit it from my parents. <laughs> you have blessed so many lives and you were just a beautiful soul. God needed a true angel by his side. Sleep in eternal peace, Pops. I love you, I miss you. So that was from Cassandra. Okay, Carl. He says, what is there to say about the man who had it all? A businessman, a loving family man, immediate and extended, and to be well known and loved everywhere he went. From running the convenience store and bakery on Best Beckway, to being in Canada. Many of you may have known him as Winston Bratcher. There's a lucky bunch of us who have the honor of calling him our pops. We all l love and miss you pops. So that's from my kids. They're all grown ups, as I said. My husband, he absolutely adored my father. They had their little man talk occasionally whenever we would talk to him on the phone or if we were seeing each other face to face. And it's always a good relationship between both of them. So I want to say thank you again for being here. I'll put it on to the next. Good afternoon to everyone. What can I say? I recall the last word I heard from Pops was, Ronald, I can't speak for long. That was when he was in the hospital on the, on the phone. I know it's not an easy thing, but uh, being um, the person that I am, a God-fearing person, I believe one day this and it will be all over. I want to thank you all those who are here this afternoon to pay tribute to him. My family are here as well, my kids, my wife. On behalf of them, I want to condo my deepest condolences to the rest of the family. We know that it happened suddenly, but we can be assured that one of these days it will be over. And it's something for us to understand that we all would walk that road one day. As long as we are alive, we will die. But God has taken care of death. And we have the assurance that one of these days we're going to see Pops again. So we, have, we are to be comforted with the words of God. And I hope that as we lay him to rest in peace when Jesus comes, he will be there and we can see him again. So may God bless us abundantly. Hello, everyone. I'm Sean Bradshaw. And as you can see, I'm the runt of the litter. <laughs> I didn't know if I should do this or do this. So I figured this. This is my brother, Stephen. Well, our brother, Stephen. And um, I'm not the biggest speaker. I'm not the best singer. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about my dad. I don't know how much time I have. But I think everybody here has said it time and time again. Kindness, patience, and fair. That's what my dad was. And um, never once did he ever deter me from doing what I needed to do. I said to him, Dad, I want to be a social worker. He never turned to me and said, hey, you're not going to make any money in that. No. Nope. He sent me to school. He let me do what I needed to do. And he encouraged me every single day. When it came to working with him at TTC, I'm going to give you a bit of a story of what happened. 
It's always long, unfortunately. There was a man there, I was, I was a student working, and there was a man there, and for some reason this man would never talk to me. He would always walk past me, didn't have nothing to say to me. I, I figured it was because I was the new guy. And anyways, one day my dad was there, and he was talking to me. I, I was having a rough day, and he was talking to me and just telling me whatever and then went about his, his business. The next day, this man came up to me. I can't remember his name. I honestly can't remember his name. But he came up to me and he said, why were you talking to Winston? Why were you talking to Bradshaw? Because they call him Bratch, right? Bratch at the TTC there. And I said, well, that's my dad. Why wouldn't I talk to him? So anyways, he turned to me and he said, your dad is an amazing man. He is good, and he is kind. I guess his faith, whatever faith that he practiced, they have to pray at a certain time. And he had so much problems trying to get the permission to do so. So many people were fighting against him. And my dad's simple solution was, well, when's the man's lunch break? change his lunch break to what he needs. Kindness, fair, and patient. That's who my dad was. I don't know how much more I can say about that. He taught me everything I know. You saw that little picture there with the little boy on his hand there with his big belly hanging out? That was me raising me up. I think he was trying to make me a little bit taller, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, but anyways, raising me up from the time that I was a baby till I found my beautiful wife. <sighs> I'm gonna miss him. But seeing all you guys here, everyone here, makes me stronger. And I wish that I was there to meet you all before. But do realize that I appreciate all your love that you gave to my dad. Thank you, everyone. Mom, Joyce, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I should have started off with that one. TTC is the Toronto Transit Commission where my dad worked. And he, is the, he was the superintendent there for a long time. So he was higher than most people. And these people were like, why are you talking to that little guy who's sitting there sweeping? So I guess they couldn't see the, the resemblance, right? So. But again, thank you so much for coming. I, I am overwhelmed with the amount of love that's for my dad. I think all of us are. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Stephen. Just say something. All right. Um, well, as you can tell, I'm the baby of the family. Hence, hence I'm crying like crazy. Um, there's really nothing more I can say that everyone else has already said. Um, <laughs> Trust me, they don't want to hear my voice. My dad will be forever loved and remembered. <laughs> okay, that's all you can say. So, on behalf of all of us, I pray that the Lord is going to bless us as we live and live his life, live his legacy, and his legacy would live on.
May God bless you abundantly. <laughs> Friends, I I want to take this opportunity to let you know that there is a friend in Jesus. He hears your heart cry. He knows your feelings. And the good thing is that you can express that to him trust that this will be a time where you can maybe grow closer to our creator God through his son Jesus Christ just before we have the eulogy sorry just after the eulogy we're going to take the eulogy now and sister Knight is going to do the eulogy and we're going to ask Zonia Peters the granddaughter to be close by so that we will have a smooth flow after the eulogy, and she'll be doing our second scripture reading. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Suda Knights. I came to the Bratcher in 2000 when he moved back to St. Vincent with my sister in Joyce. Winston Leonard Bratcher was born on the 9th of December. 1946 to Sheila Sears and Vernon Bratcher. He was the only child for his mother and due to the profession, he was raised by his grandmother, Claudine John and his aunt, Gwendolyn Roach. Upon finishing school, Winston got his first job at a gas station in Mespo. This did not last for long. He then worked as a police officer with the Royal St. Vincent and the Grenadines Police Force. He later migrated to Canada to live with his sister May and her family. While there, he pursued some studies and upgraded his skills, which gained him employment with the Toronto Transit Commission. He later met and married Terry Mufford. The union produced two sons, Sean and Stephen Bratcher. After the marriage fell apart, Winston never lost hope and continued to build his life. In 1968, he met Joyce Knight and they had a relationship which lasted for four years before they separated. But as fate would have it, they reconnected years later and rekindled their love, hence the reason he often called her his soulmate. <laughs> 